Today's video is called, If it's natural, it doesn't need to be forced. If it is natural, it does not need to be forced. Pretty good title when you think about it. Because, if it's natural, it doesn't need to be forced. What do I mean by this? Female domination has been forced the last 65 years. Abortion rights have been forced onto the world. Divorce rights for women had to be forced. Women's rights had to be forced. Everything had to be forced. Things that come natural do not have to be forced. They come naturally. They go fluently. You don't have to put any will into it. You don't have to put any power into it. They come by itself. So I'd like for everybody to think about that in your own lives. When you think about things that are being forced into your life, why they are being forced. Because everything that is natural should come naturally. This war between men and women, man, it is just so pathetic. When will men ever just stand up and say, enough women, I've had enough. Get out of my house. It's done with. You see, these women keep going around screaming their heads off how they hate men, how they don't want to be around men. Yet they're still getting married. They're still going out on dates. They're still having sex. They're still acting like little children. So I'm wondering, well, if this has been going on for 60 years, and a lot of people have come and gone since then, why are women still dating, marrying, and having sex? Why don't they back their words up? Ah, yes. The false delusion. The false delusion that every man is a rapist. Do you understand how narcissistic you have to be as a woman to consider yourself so beautiful, so sexy, and so wanted by every man that you are afraid of being raped everywhere you go? Do you see how psychopathic that is in itself? You don't have to sit there wondering if feminism is psychotic or not. Just look at that aspect. That when a woman goes out of the building at night, walks into the parking lot, she's afraid to be raped. She's that entitled. She thinks she's that beautiful that everybody wants her. But yet, if she really thought that way, if she really felt that way as she thought, she would not wear skanking clothing. She would not wear a perfume that attracts men. She would dress down, I mean, sorry, she would dress up and not down, and she would have respect for the men out there. She would go, okay, if men are really rapists and pigs, then maybe I should protect myself from them. Maybe I shouldn't go out dressing like a slut. Maybe I should dress properly. Maybe I should act properly and not act flirtatious. Maybe I shouldn't be promiscuous. See, if men are all rapists, like women are saying they are, why is it that women are jumping from one man to the other with no fear at all of being abused? Ah, the legal system. The legal system that defends their behavior, who acts like women are just innocent little beings. I mean, let's look at this for a moment. Just look at it coldly. The legal system treats women as if they are brittle children. They act like women are children. Men are treating women like children. And yet women are saying, we want to be equals. This sounds to me like, wah, wah, I didn't get my candy today. Wah, wah, I didn't get what I wanted. Wah. So again, the legal system is treating women like children. Men around the world are saying women are acting like children. And women are acting like they are equal to men. But men are not children. Then you have other men going around, white knights and fags, who go, um, Excuse me, ma'am, can I help you? Is there something wrong here? Is this guy bothering you? That, that simple white knight fag who also thinks that this woman is childlike and cannot defend herself. So the entire world is acting like women are children. They're treating them like children. And yet they want respect as adults. Why? When you think about it, and you think about any person in this world who acts like a child, it would be a child. When you take a child to a candy store, they go, I want this candy, I want that candy, I want this candy, I want that candy, candy, daddy, 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 daddy mommy, mommy, daddy, 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 mommy, mommy, can I have this, can I have this, can I have this, can I have this, please, can I have this, please, can I have this, please, mommy, I'll be good, please. That's how children behave. When you look at women today, 
at what they have done with the legal system and what they have done in general by complaining and whining, you can see their net worth, what they truly bring to the table, and what their value truly is. Because everything they did to get to the top where they are today, they did through whining, begging, pleading. That's just disturbed. New Age feminists have no idea that they begged their way to the top. They begged on their hands and knees. Begged, 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 begged. Cried, whimpered, and begged to get laws changed, to have this so-called equality that they have, and all this bullshit. Feminism has nothing to do with women's equality and everything to do with sexism. It was created by the lesbians who hate men and who hate children and that's exactly what you see today with women hating men and women hating children. Look at the amount of children being abused, abandoned, left alone. Look at the amount of men out there struggling now to get custody while this abusive woman still has, has his child. Look at the amount of people going out there suffering at the hands of this feminism bullshit. And yet people do nothing to change it. Just like everybody's being suffered right now and being uh, abused by Obama and everybody's taking it up the butt too. So men, it's always going to come from you when you decide you're going to have enough. It's always going to come from you. A lot of people think, oh, feminism is going to be broken down and torn down by women. What a pipe dream that is. Women don't want to change it. Even the good women are enjoying the fruits of feminism. Feminism is like every man is on the rat wheel and the women are reaping the benefits from him suffering on the rat wheel. And if the man is not on the rat wheel, he's in jail. So I hope you all see what is really going on here. Because it's really quite pathetic that men will not stand up for themselves, protect themselves, and say, I don't care that you're a girl. If you hit me again, I'm going to break your neck. It's that simple, guys. You need to start standing up for yourselves. If men all over the world stood up for themselves, no policeman will arrest you. <laughs> Nobody will. You all have to learn that you are allowed to hit women. Let me tell you why. There is nothing in this world that resets a woman's entitlement issues. Nothing quicker makes her come back to normal than a smack across her face. <laughs>